What's going on YouTube and welcome to another portion of the Range Rover dash cam install. Today we're going to focus on the blend mount. That is what I have here in this box. So let's open it up. All right, so here's our hardware. Now well, some more hardware in a little baggie here. Here's our directions, which they're pretty simple. But basically this is a uh, vehicle specific device to mount your whatever accessory they have a uh, they have them for radar detectors dash cams and other things um, but basically they make a mount specific for your vehicle and your device so this particular one is for the Blackview dash cam and let's take a look at it So, the way this works is you will adjust these bolts to adjust how tight this thing is pinching. This goes around the stem from your rear view mirror, and then this you will clamp in the dash cam, and you'll position it wherever is appropriate, and tighten down the bolts, and this will provide for a super clean install that doesn't have uh, you mounting anything to your windshield with a uh, double-sided tape. So pretty cool. And a uh, neat story about this blend mount. Um, when I ordered the blend mount, I, I selected my vehicle and device and I got it. Uh, it chipped it very quickly actually. Um, got it and so I selected for the correct vehicle, the correct uh, we call it uh, model year and they actually had me submit a picture of my uh, mirror assembly uh, to make sure and send me the correct one and when I got it it didn't quite fit um, so I emailed them and within like an hour they responded I couldn't believe how quickly they responded to my email but um, essentially uh, they for the model of my Range Rover, they must have changed the mount. It might be because it's a Westminster edition. I don't know if the mirror is a little different, but the the stem from the mirror is a little wider uh, than the previous model. But, so, anyway, they, they called me. I, I missed the call because I, I, I missed the call. But uh, anyway, he emailed me and asked me if I could measure the uh, mirror. So I, I took my calipers, took some measurements, emailed them to him, and uh, he said he was building me a mount, and he did. This is the first uh, one of this particular mount for a 2021 Range Rover HSE Westminster. This is the first one. He built this specifically based on my measurements. So, just want to say, blend mount, wow. Excellent customer service. I can't believe how quickly they responded, how quickly they shipped this to me. So, if you're looking for something for a clean install like this, I highly recommend them. Um, anyway, let me show you a bit how this works before we get out there in the Range Rover and actually install it. This is the dash cam, and I still have the protective uh, plastic on here. I'm gonna wait to take that off until we're actually putting it in. But the way this works is, it has its own mount with 3M tape. You put that on the windshield and set it. Now, this, we simply remove the, uh, 
this little arm thing that's holding it. And here we go. So all we're going to do is pinch this to give more space and slide it in. And so now we have this assembly that will hang from the mirror. And once we tighten all of these bolts up, it'll stay in whatever position uh, I need it to. Really, uh, really neat um, how they did this. Just to give you a look at the, uh, the original one, because this one is a little different as far as the assembly, other than just the diameter of the uh, clamp here. And they did send me a uh, postage, that's what I had set aside here, to this right here, to return the, uh, the one that doesn't fit. Let's see, th this one was a little bit different. Um, a little less uh, joints, it appears. Oops, where's the... and I accidentally lost one of the bolts while trying to mount this. So that's why this piece isn't attached. But essentially, it would go on like this. Um, I can't remember if what's the front. I think, I think it'd be like that. Anyway. Like I said, this was too, uh, it was too narrow, so they built me one based on my measurements. Uh, this is just under 20 millimeters, the diameter there. Um, so yeah, let's go uh, get this thing installed. So we have the, the dash cam in the bracket here, and we are going to, I've got the, uh, clamp spread you they have an included uh allen wrench here hex key that you're going to use to uh give yourself more room be careful not to do what i did on my first one and uh un unscrew it too much um because these bolts i i literally lost one in the range rover it is somewhere underneath the seats in the subfloor um so anyway I'm just gonna slide that over here and I'm going to first tighten this down, not all the way, but just snug enough that it'll hold itself on. Okay, looks pretty good. And now we're gonna try to make sure it is it's somewhat level. Now I'm just going to eyeball it. It doesn't have to be perfect, and you can adjust this part at any time, which is the beauty of this mount, rather than the uh, using it to stick directly on the windshield with a double-sided tape. So I have this looks pretty level, so I'm just going to tighten that down a good bit. All right. And now uh, you have a lot of adjustment in this mount, as you can see. So that's good. What I'm gonna do is you wanna move this as far forward as possible. So about there. And I'll go ahead and plug in my power cord here. And you see I, the way we routed that, that's, there's just a perfect amount of wire here. Uh, so we're not, you know, stretching it. And we're also um, don't have a bunch extra just laying around dangling. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is tighten down this on this one that moves like that. Uh, I'm going to move it to the most forward position, and there is a bolt to tighten on both sides over here and back here. So I'm going to tighten both of those up. All right. And now, let's see. Oh, 
I'm going to loosen this back up a little bit. Apparently that tightened everything. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to... Um, yeah, that looks pretty good there. So let me tighten this back up. All right, we got that one tightened up. And now we're going to tighten the camera so it's just not contacting this plastic pit, this plastic cover. Okay, so I've gone through and readjusted the mount uh, just a little bit off camera. Um, I've tightened everything down, and of note, there are bolts to tighten down on both sides. Here, here, and also on the back, here and here. Um, so that has, everything's been tightened down, and it's very, uh, it's very stable. Um, and it looks good too. But, we have come to the moment you've all been waiting for, including myself. Um, and that is removing the protective cover. So I'm going to unplug it. And I'm going to remove it from the, uh, the mount here. And as you can see, well, hopefully you can see. I don't know if I'm ruining the light or not. The best part. Oh, that is satisfying. All right, let's put it back in here. Now that we have the protective cover peeled off, I'm going to do one last check to make sure the camera body is oriented uh, properly. We're going to open the Blackview app and connect the camera. We're going to go to Live View. And let's orient the camera so we can see it better. And I'm going to twist the camera body to get the perfect orientation. So I think I would like just a smidge of the dash in the frame. Uh, that looks to be perfect right there. All right, the front dash cam is officially installed. We have our mount positioned correctly. We're all wired up and we are recording. Um, huge thanks to Tony at J28 Design who make the blend mount. Uh, man, just top notch customer service. Uh, you got me, you got a, a, a new customer here. I, I'm probably going to put one in the Audi and maybe even one in the Jeep. So I will definitely be buying uh, more blend mounts. They are top notch and I, I'm just really impressed with just how quickly they helped and everything. So huge shout out to them. Um, but yeah, so this was probably the easier part of the install. So the next video or a couple of videos will be focusing on routing the rear dash cam wiring all the way from the back to the front. So that's going to be quite the task. But for now, we have a working front dash cam. And I'll show you what that looks like on the outside here. And they have that LED that just stays on constant, which is pretty cool. So anybody who's coming to potentially tamper or vandalize your vehicle will have a nice little warning they are on camera. The uh, rear cam has the same little LED, which I imagine will also stay on like that. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I will get back to you ASAP.